Okay, so we're still talking about wood polymers, and I'm going to say something about hemicelluloses now. Just call them hemis because it's quicker. Um, hemicelluloses are similar to cellulose in that they are made of sugars, again. And sugars are, of course, made by photosynthesis, but there's more than one sugar. So whereas cellulose is made from glucose, hemicellulose are made from a variety of sugars, of which glucose is just one of them. There's many, many different types of hemicellulose. I won't go into all the different types that there are. But the main thing about hemicellulose is that they can have this linear backbone that is characterised by cellulose, uh, but they can also have branches sticking off, and they can also have other types of structures, such as um, helices like this. So you can imagine that hemicellulose is because of this structure. They can interact with the surface of the cellulose microfibril with these linear parts, but they also have this flexibility. You can think of it as being a spring. And this flexibility is introduced by these other structural forms. Uh, but that only really works if we have the presence of water molecules which can sit around the hemicelluloses and give it this flexibility that I was talking about in an earlier lecture. So the hemicelluloses, if you want to think of it in a simple conceptual way, they act a little bit like springs. Whereas the, the uh, cellulose is strong and stiff in tension, the hemicelluloses act as a kind of flexible um, shield around the microfibrils. So that's the hemicelluloses. Um, the lignin is a completely different molecule from cellulose and hemicelluloses. It's made from what are called phenolic subunits which are derived from photosynthesis via a biochemical pathway. Um, and it's completely different in its structure. It has this cross-linked structure so that it's kind of got this network structure, lots of cross-linking. That's not an exact representation, obviously. Um, but this cross-linked structure has the property of being very, very stiff. So this provides stiffness to the wood. Hemicelluloses provide flexibility, and the cellulose provides the strength. And in the next part of this lecture, I'll tell you about how these combine together to give the properties of wood. <laughs>